What's up? What's up? Dustin from Liquid Dynamics, and for the first time... Greg. Hey, at least he knows his own name. We're getting somewhere. Shut up. Okay, so... We were rather energetic tonight, so we decided we were going to uh, do a rant video. Very good one, indeed. And this rant video, kind of, with both topics, include the same topic. It's kind of like a two-topic, one-topic, two-topic, create-one type of thing. But the first thing we're going to go with is twerking. Twerking. Now, I would like to give uh, credit to Axel Link, who left a comment on a video of mine not long ago saying that we should totally do a video on twerking. He also meant, uh, mentioned swag, but we had already covered that before. So I told him it may as well very well be time for a twerking rant. So let's go ahead and destroy this, shall we? Very well, shall. So what is twerking? Well, he makes you sound retarded saying it, that's for sure. Very retarded. Um, it is a dance that involves nothing but massive booty shaking. Something like that. Very I'm going retarded. to pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> I just had a man twerk in my face. Very entertaining. Okay. It involves nothing more than massive booty shaking. And to me, it says, Hi, I'm Easy. Come get between these butt cheeks. Mm -hmm. Butt cheeks. That's exactly what twerking says to me. It, it's nowhere near flattering and is not attractive. No. Very odd. Weird. Makes a woman look goofy. Mm. Goofy as hell. So yeah, if a woman is in a club dancing and they're twerking, to me they would be wasting their time. Rubbing their booty all over you? Men, men seem to love it because it's saying, hey, I'm easy. And men love easy. But no, thank you. <laughs> If you're wondering who's laughing in the background, it's Nick, a.k.a. Blackie Chan. You've seen him in previous videos, especially the video where we tried the chicken waffles lace chips for the first time. That's who's giggling in the background. So just in case you get confused, I'm mocking him. That's what's going on. So, topic number two, I guess. Miley Cyrus. Good God. Yes, Miley Cyrus, the uh, pretty young miniature Cyrus, the daughter of Billy Ray himself, the mistress of Idiotic. Trying to be like Lady Gaga, but can't pull it off right. Here, here are my problems with Miley Cyrus. When she played Hannah Montana, she was a very pretty little girl. She had a bright future ahead of her, and she could have gone anywhere in life, but where did she go? Drugville. Let's shave our head and dye whatever's left of our hair blonde. And look like Cynthia doll from the Rugrats. She doesn't quite look like Cynthia. I mean, the hair would have to be pretty crazy out there. And well, it's, been, it's and... been once. Or maybe twice. I don't think you know what you're talking about, but <laughs> we're going to continue. <laughs> she looks retarded with the way her hair is. I've always had this problem with women with really short hair. I don't know why. I cannot stand it when a woman has really short hair. It bothers me. It irks me. It makes them look ugly. Yes, more or less. Uh, so when Miley cut her hair and dyed it a bleach blonde, I immediately went, Ugh, the hell is going on? Then Miley gets on this kick of twerking. Why? Because she's trying to say she's easy. Uh, okay. So Miley gets on this twerking twi- What? I don't even know what I just tried to say. <laughs> it just had happened. You screwed up. Uh, yeah. 
So she gets on this twerking thing, and she's shaking her ass for everybody. It's like, here, I'm Miley. Hi, I'm Miley. Jesus, hi. <laughs> so pretty. And then it turns into from that to being a massive stoner, which she probably was even when she was doing Hannah Montana. <laughs> we don't know. Then she goes from that to doing other drugs. Then from doing these other drugs to doing Liam. <laughs> he is not okay. And then from doing Liam to riding the damn wrecking ball, just like ACDC. Fine. As he was about to say before I so rudely interrupted him, <laughs> the video wrecking ball. Allow me to say, Miley, you copywriting biatch. Bizzage. The ACDC did it first. And if there's anybody on this planet who knows anything about ACDC, it's me. I am an ACDC freak. Look at the hat. Okay. ACDC did it first. And for those of you who do not know what in the hell I'm talking about, look up the Ball Breaker music video on their Vivo from 1996. You will see Brian Johnson being lowered from the rafters on a big-ass wrecking ball. 1996, okay? Then we come around to the future when the wrecking ball song from Miley comes out. And what does she do? She rides on a wrecking ball with very little and then no clothing. <laughs> like she's literally having sex with the wrecking ball. Trying to scare poor little kids. I don't, I don't understand it. Why would you hump a wrecking ball without clothing whatsoever and then pretty much give a sledgehammer head? I'm not following. Very disturbing. Okay, there are many issues here. And then after that, we have the VMA performance with Little Miss Miley and Robin Thicke, where he performs Blurred Lines and she's literally twerking on his nuts. Hey? Duh, what? It's like, all right, we get it. You want a sexual relationship with Robin Thicke. Why does everybody else in the world have to know about it? She wants to make it open. Oh, it's very open. That's the problem. Big time. Hi. Right here on my notes. Uh, God, Miley, what the hell happened to you? You were so beautiful. Billy, I don't know what went wrong here. Maybe she ate paint chips as a kid. Maybe you <laughs> dropped her on her head 200 times. I don't quite understand what's going on. Or maybe, or maybe, your achy, breaky heart was just a little too much for her to take. <laughs> and it fucked up her head somewhere along the line. Your His achy, breaky heart did break. Or his achy, breaky heart when Boots walked all over him. <laughs> <laughs> Big time. Apparently, um, we have Miley doing all these problems, and then we have... Uh, her adopted brother, who's covered head to toe in tattoos, they, that's just, that, that, no. The former lead singer of Metro Station. How does that contrast work? Okay. What's our third topic? I don't know if I have a third topic, because I'm still flabbergasted on this whole Miley Cyrus thing. How about... Them killing off Brian and Family Guy. Okay. Brought it back though. Killing off Brian and Family Guy. Why not? <laughs> Brian Griffin from Family Guy. Pretty much just Seth MacFarlane speaking. There's literally no difference between Seth MacFarlane's actual voice and Brian Griffin. Nothing. Not a damn thing. Okay. When they killed Brian Griffin from Family Guy, I got a kick out of it because everybody in the world was signing petitions, wanting to bring him back. We're throwing little bitch fits. It's like, no, Brian's gone. Oh, God, what are we going to do? Wait a few weeks, he'll come back. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> exactly, just like he supposedly came back. And, okay, you people have to understand, when it comes to Family Guy, Seth MacFarlane himself 
has said the show has run its course. It's on its 12th season. Seth himself said most series on TV do not run any more than seven to eight seasons. He is on his 12th. He said it's far beyond its prime, and whenever Family Guy is to be canceled, Seth MacFarlane would be just fine with that. Hey, look at The Simpsons, though. They've been on for 24 years, going on 25 next year. Yeah, it's a bit ridiculous, but, uh... Yeah, but anyway... Killing off Brian Griffin was nothing more than a ploy to make people think, to get them to realize that at any given moment, one of your favorite things in life, whatever it might be, bam, could be gone. Yep. And then they were saying something about Peter's supposed to be getting killed. Yeah. <laughs> no. If they kill Peter Griffin, the show's dead. The show's <laughs> gone. That's all there is to it. Killing Brian for a few episodes was bad enough. You had all these people in an uproar. I mean, Jesus Christ. Sign the petition to bring Brian back! <laughs> okay. Whose leg do I have to hump to get a dry martini around here? I mean, seriously, killing off Brian Griffin wasn't going to be permanent. I knew when it happened. They brought in Vinny. Who the f... Vinny, the wise-cracking dog. Okay, he was somewhat amusing, but he still wasn't anything compared to Brian. Um, anybody who has followed Family Guy would know that killing Brian was nothing more than a ploy and was going to be rectified quickly. I mean, you know, killing off Brian, that would, you know, really suck if they actually stuck with it because him and Stewie have them adventures together. Yeah. They're what make freaking Family Guy funny sometimes. Sometimes? You mean most of the time? Most of the time. Alright. Just checking. Yeah. Making sure. Sure. Are you alright? Clue. Are we good? Yep. Are we alright? <laughs> Seth MacFarlane's coming up with the uh, Flintstones. He's bringing them to life. Yeah, Seth MacFarlane taking the Flintstones. Oh dear God. I, I can't wait to see that, that make, disaster. It makes you wonder who's doing his doing Fred Flintstone's voice. Seth. Oh, gosh. I can guarantee it. He'll probably sound like Peter Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> bam, bam, bam! God. There's so many sexual innu innuendos <laughs> that can just be made with so many Flintstone things. Exactly. I mean, I don't... Oh, dear God. I can't wait. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to come out next year. But, yeah. What do you people think of what was just uttered in this almost 13 minute video so far about the twerking, about the Miley, about the Family Guy, and about the Flintstones. <laughs> <laughs> and about the black men laughing. Exactly. Give us your thoughts. Let us know what possible topics you would like to see us do in the future. And um, if you think Miley's as dumb as we do, awesome. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, this will conclude our daily broadcast. Thank you very much for sticking with us this long, because we know we're idiots. We know. <laughs> but I just speak my opinion freely because I have nothing better to do. And we amuse you, people. I, shit. <laughs> Liquid Dynamics, out. Deuce.